Can I request the three refuges and my eight virtues? Yes, very good. Begin with Namo Tassa. Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa Homage to the Blessed Teacher, the Arahant, the perfectly all-awakened Buddha. Now the refuges. Buddhang saranang gachami. Dhammang saranang gachami. Sanghang saranang gachami. I go to the Buddha as a refuge. I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Dutiyampi buddhang saranang gachami Dutiyampi dhammang saranang gachami Dutiyampi sanghang saranang gachami For a second time I go to the Buddha as a refuge For a second time I go to the Dhamma as a refuge for a second time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Tatiyampi buddhang saranang gachami Tatiyampi dhammang saranang gachami Tatiyampi sanghang saranang gachami For a third time, I go to the Buddha as a refuge. For a third time, I go to the Dhamma as a refuge. And for a third time, I go to the Sangha as a refuge. Now the virtues. Panati patawe ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from hurting living beings on purpose. Adina dhana ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from what is not given. Kami sumi chachara ve ramani sikha padang samadhyami I undertake the practice to refrain from sexual misconduct. Musa wada we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from false speech. Sura meraya madja pamadatana we ramani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the practice to refrain from mind-altering substances. And since you are going into your own lives, usually we only take the five virtues unless, unless you feel like you will be practicing the eight. But 95% <laughs> of the time it's not the case. So. I don't want to put something on you. Silena sugatinyanti, silena bhoga sampada, silena nibutinyanti, tasama sila visodaye. By virtue, a good life is obtained. By virtue, inner wealth comes to be. By virtue, one is unbinded. This virtue is to be perfected. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And as I mentioned, this morning will be a little different. And um, we will um, <laughs> first. I'm wondering which 
by which one to start with. But first, I think I will ask for your forgiveness if I have said anything to you at any time, or directly or indirectly, that might have come across as hurtful or inappropriate. And I am sorry. I am asking for your forgiveness. And this was not meant. It was only... I only care for your well-being and your happiness, and I hope that you will be. And so if there's anything I've said, please forgive me. And here I will be... You can follow along with me if you feel. This is the Kamapana Yachana, that means uh, asking forgiveness to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. And I will recite it in Pali and in English as, I, as we go. You can either follow in the book or, and this is all in, in the Puja book. So if, um, if you have it handy, you can follow in there its page. I think the page has changed, changed but <laughs> I'm not going to say the page. Um, <laughs> somewhere in there. It's Kamapana Yachana. So it comes after the Dhammapada verses. And of course, this is all free on the website. It's not a it's not a marketing thing that I'm doing. Kayena wacha chittena pamadena maya katang achayang hamame bhante buri panya tathagata by way of body, speech, or mind, for any careless action of mine, please forgive me, Bhante, truth finder of profound wisdom. Kayena vacha chittena pamadena maya katang achayang kamame dhamma sanditika kalika by way of body, speech, or mind, for any careless action of mine, please forgive me, O Dhamma, which is directly visible and immediate. Kayena vacha chittena pamadena maya katang achayang kamame sangha Punya keta nuttara. By way of body, speech, or mind, for any careless actions of mine, please forgive me, O Sangha, unsurpassed field of goodness for the universe. And on this, I will recite the final the good qualities of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. And the Mangala Sutta afterwards, sharing merits, and then we will, we will part. Iti piso bhagava raham samma sambuddho vija charana sampanno sugato loka vidu Anuttaro puri sadhamma sarati satha deva manusanang buddho bhagavati Swakato bhagavata dhammo sanditti ko akali ko ehi pasiko panai ko Supati panno bhagavato savaka sango 
ಊಜುಪತಿ ಪನ್ನೋ ಭಗವತೋ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ನ್ಯಾಯಪತಿ ಪನ್ನೋ ಭಗವತೋ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ಸಾಮೀಚಿ ಪತಿ ಪನ್ನೋ ಭಗವತೋ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ಹರಿರಂಗ ಚಿ ಪುರಿ ಸಯುಗಾನಿ ಅಥ ಪುರಿ ಸಪುಗಲ ಏಸ ಭಗವತೋ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ಆಹುನ್ನೆಯೋ ಭಾಹುನ್ನೆಯೋ ದಕ್ಕಿನೆಯೋ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಕರಣಿಯೋ ಅನುತ್ತಿರಂಗ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಕೀತಂಗೋ ಕಸಾತಿ The exalted one is a narahant, perfectly all-awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and conduct, auspicious knower of the world, unsurpassed guide for those who seek self-mastery, teacher of devas and humans, awakened and blessed. Well explained is the blessed one's teaching. directly visible immediate inviting leading upwards to be experienced by the wise for oneself supati pano good is the practice of the awakened one sangha straight is the practice of the awakened one sangha wise is the practice of the awakened one sangha meaningful is the practice of the awakened one sangha that is the four pairs of people the eight kinds of person the sangha of the awakened one is worthy of offerings worthy of hospitality worthy of generosity and respect an unsurpassed field of goodness for the universe And this morning's recitation is one of the most famous parita the it's called the parita protective chant but it enumerates all of the blessings that the buddha um that the buddha praised where to find our happiness in everyday life So I will recite it in Pali which is the traditional way first and then you can listen to it and then I will r- read it in English afterwards. He vam me sutang e kang samayang bhagava savatti ang viharati jeta vane anatta pindika sa arame ಅಥೋ ಅನ್ಯತಿರೇವತ ಅಭಿಕಂಥಯರತೀಯ ಅಭಿಕಂಥವನ್ನೇವಲ ಕಪ್ಪಂ ಜೇತವನಂಹೋ ಭಾಸಿನ ಭಾಗವಾಥೇನುಪಸಂಕಿ ಉಪಸಂಕಿ ಭಾಗವಂತಿವಾರಿ ಏಕಮಂತಂಗಸಿ ಏಕಮಂತಿಥಾಕೋ ಸಾವತ ಭಗವಂತ ಅಗಾಥಾಯ ಅಜಭಾಸಿ ಬಹುದೇವ ಮನುಸ ಮಂಗಲ ಅಚಿಂತ ಆಕಂಕಮಾನಸೋತ್ಥಾನ ಬ್ರೂಹಿ ಮಂಗಲ ಅಸೇವನ ಚಾಲನ ಫಂದಿತಾನೇವನ ಪೂಜಾ ಪೂಜನೀಯನ ಮಂಗಲ ಮುತ್ತಮ ಪತಿಸೋ ಪುಬ್ಬೆ ಚಕತ ಪುಣ್ಯತ ಅತ್ತ ಸಮಿರಿಚಾತ ಮಂಗಲ ಮುತ್ತಮ ಬಾಹು ಸಚ್ಚಿ ಪಂಚ ವಿನಯೋ ಚಿಕ್ಕಿತ ಸುಭಾಸಿ ಚಾವಾಚಂಗ ಮಂಗಲ ಮುತ್ತಮ 
Mata pitu patanang putta dharasa sangaho Anakula chakamanta etang mangalamuttamang Danan chadham chariyan cha a nyata kanan cha sangaho Anawajjani kamani etang mangalamuttamang Arati virati papa manjapanna cha sangyamo Appamado cha dhammesu etang mangalamuttamang Garavo cha niwato cha santutti cha katanyuta Kalena dhammasavanang etang mangalamuttamang Kanti cha so wa cha satha samananan cha dhasanang Kalin dhamma sa ka cha etang mangalamuttamang Tapo cha brahma cha riyan cha ariya sa cha na dhasanang Nibbana sa cha kiriyan cha Etang mangalamuttamang Puthasa loka dhammehi Chittang yasana kampati Asokang virajang kemang Etang mangalamuttamang Etadisani katwana sabbathama parajita Sabbath Thaso tinga chanti tang te sang mangalamutta mangti. Thus have I heard at one time the awakened one was residing in Sawati in Jetta's grove at Anathapindika's monastery. Then a certain deva at the waning of the night shining with surpassing beauty, filling the entire Jetta's grove, approached where the awa awakened one was, having approached and paid loving respect, stood to the side. While standing on the side, the Deva addressed the exalted one in verses. Many devas and humans have pondered about happiness, seeking for well-being, Bhante. Pray, Lord, what is the highest blessing? Not associating with the careless, but associating with the wise, revering those worthy of esteem, this is the highest blessing living in a pleasant location, having performed merits in the past, aspiring for righteousness oneself. This is the highest blessing. Being knowledgeable and skilled, disciplined and competent, with eloquent speech, this is the highest blessing. Attending to one's mother and father, caring for one's wife and children, not having a disturbing profession, this is the highest blessing. Giving and living in truth in the Dhamma, caring for one's relatives, acting blamelessly, this is the highest blessing. Staying away and abstaining from all that is wrong, refraining from intoxicants, being steadfast in Dhamma, this is the highest blessing. Being respectful and unpretentious, content and grateful, Hearing the Dhamma in good time, this is the highest blessing. <clears throat> Being patient and gentle, visiting monks, 
conversing on the Dhamma in good time. This is the highest blessing. Being intent, living the righteous life, seeing the awakened understandings, the Four Noble Truths, and experiencing Nibbana. This is the highest blessing. Touched by the ways of the world, with a mind that remains unshaken, sorrowless, quenched and serene, this is the highest blessing. Doing here as such, everywhere undefeated they go, abounding in happiness, for them this is the highest blessing. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And on this, well, we are almost at the end of our little last puja. And before we leave, I think it's uh, always good that before we share merits for all of these 10 days to remember how lucky we are to have all of this that came together and um, that we had the supporting conditions that allowed us to do this and this can only for one thing to have health that is strong enough to, to be able to practice, to have food to allow us to practice, to have shelter, to have clothes, and to be able to take some time away from everything and to actually dedicate to our practice and hold some mental development. And how fortunate we are to just have that. And of course, um, well, it is part of the life of monks that we choose to live a bit of a different life and um, we do not cook for ourselves. We let go of that. We let go of keeping food. We cannot handle money. So, <laughs> Obviously, especially in the West, that means that means that other people are doing it because it would be impossible otherwise. And this, from the time of the Buddha, of course, there was spe special conditions at the time of the Buddha where this was in the culture. It was very... Um, it was understood that if monks... Uh, came by, you know, there was no real uh, big issue. There were sometimes, but uh, to, to, uh, to be fed and all these things because it was part of their culture. And unless we live in a Buddhist country, it's not, <laughs> it's not that <laughs> easy to, uh, to uh, live this kind of life. And so, but wherever we are, even if in a Buddhist country, The m life of monks and the life of lay people are always very close because this is what keeps the monks into uh, contact with the world. Otherwise, it would just be... <laughs> we, cannot, uh, we cannot cook, we cannot uh, do all these things. And this is also meant to be an opportunity for... Uh, the world to take part in that in the practice of the Sangha and of course uh, I stand here in a place where people have brought these um, elements together which are allowing this all of this to happen uh, food shelter and clothing every day uh, some people sometimes come and offer food mainly these are very 
unique times right now that we are living because of COVID. So things are a little bit different now. But uh, some very virtuous people are uh, supporting all of this in the background. And so I simply want to underline that uh, there's a lot of everything that we've lived during this 10-day retreat is supported by so much generosity and selfless kindness and uh, dedication to wholesomeness. And just this in itself is quite inspiring what, whenever we see th these, these acts of kindness and generosity and virtue is always inspiring. But just know that all of this that was done during this retreat Everyone's work, everyone's work to cultivate in wholesome state is first very uplifting in itself that everyone would take these 10 days and practice. And also the people that bring it and make it possible. So with all these people, let's share our merits and let's wish everyone a long life and happiness and good life in the Dhamma. And also Kuhn is not here, but he has been um, do, doing, uh, taking care of organizing uh, all of this uh, more technical organization in the background, so we don't really see that, but that wasn't me. <laughs> that was, so, and so many, so many other people. That, Marty and Grant here who have the basically uh, this is where I live so <laughs> so much is you know so this is so so important uh, otherwise well this wouldn't be so and there there's a long 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 list of everybody but let's share our merits everything that uh, all the goodness that can come out of such practice, of such an event. And let's genuinely wish for all these people and all of our relatives and all living beings for welfare and happiness and long life. Dukkha patta jani dukkha bhaya patta jani bhaya soka patta jani soka hontu sabbe pi pani no irang no punyang sabbe satta anumodantu sabba sampatti siddhya aka satta ja bhumatta deva naga mahidika Punyang tang anu moritwa chirang rakhandu buddha sasasanan. May suffering ones be suffering free, and the fear struck fearless be. May the grieving shed all grief, and may all beings find relief. May all beings share these merits that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings inhabiting space and earth, devas and nagas of mighty powers, share these merits of ours. May they long protect the Buddha's dispensation. Sadhu, sadhu. May all blessings be with you and may all the devas protect you. May you have long health, happiness and success in everything that you undertake. It was a pleasure to spend these few days with you and I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>